Red Bull is a brand that has become synonymous with energy drinks and extreme sports. With its iconic logo and catchy slogan, Red Bull gives you wings, it's hard to imagine when the brand wasn't a household name. But how did Red Bull become so successful? Was it the secret to selling 9.6 billion cans worldwide in 2021? In this video, we'll explore the origins and revolutionary marketing tactics used to take the energy drink to such astronomical heights. Red Bull's appeal lies in its unique blend, combining a carbonated base with a proprietary mix of high-quality ingredients like caffeine, taurine, B vitamins, and a hint of sugar. Together, they deliver an instant surge of vitality and focus. Because of all this, you may not be surprised to learn that the beverage originally started off as a medicine. In 1962, Thai businessman Chalio Vudvika noticed that the energy drinks were consumed out of necessity rather than for pleasure. The market leader at the time, Lipovitan, left little to be desired in terms of flavor, as the drink was very medicinal tasting. Spotting the opportunity, Chaleo set out to create the first energy drink that not only tasted great, but gave you all the energy you could want. The name Red Bull, or better known as Kreting Deng, to the Thai market was chosen to evoke feelings of power and vitality associated with that of a bull. The drink gained popularity among working-class people in Asia during the 70s and 80s, with its image enhanced by sponsoring Thai boxing matches. Everything would begin to change in 1982 when Austrian salesman Dietrich Messerschitz stumbled across Kreting Dang in an effort to cure the effects of jet lag. After learning that the rival energy drink Lipovitan was Japan's biggest taxpayer, Messerschitz, absolutely fascinated by this miracle beverage, knew that he had found an opportunity too good to be true. He wasted no time in tracking down Chaleo and set out to convince him of the overseas potential of Kreting Dang. The pair teamed up in 1984, each investing $500,000 and officially forming the company Red Bull GmbH. Now, here's where things get interesting. The energy drink market in Europe was completely non-existent. On the one hand, Red Bull had the privilege to be the first and only energy drink on sale. But on the other hand, Red Bull had to compete against industry titans like Coca-Cola, who already had a firm grip over the soft drinks market. Dayshrik introduced the beverage to Austria in 1987. The product was met with hesitation as buyers were cautious of this new, mysterious beverage, promising to enhance performance and combat fatigue. But Dayshrik persisted and realized a shift in their marketing strategy was needed, quoting, We don't bring the product to the people, we bring the people to the product. In the 80s and 90s, promoting your products was more challenging than making an Instagram account. To stand out from the competition, you had to get creative. Red Bull took this to heart, sponsoring and even creating events that they knew their target audience would love. And it worked. The attention was on the event and the people there, but the Red Bull brand was impossible to miss. Especially when they gave out free samples to get people talking. But one of their most unique campaigns involved strategically placing empty cans in trash cans and on tables at popular bars. Imagine being out for drinks and seeing a bunch of empty cans from a brand you've never heard of. Wouldn't you be curious? It was a pretty brilliant strategy. Fast forward to today, Red Bull has 25% of the energy drink market, which translates to a whopping $2.89 billion in sales. Putting your audience first and getting creative can pay off. Real quick, if you're enjoying the video so far, please be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. Now back to the video. With unbeatable determination, Massachusetts ventured into the US market, challenging Coca-Cola in April 1997. Despite its smaller 8.3-ounce can size containing less liquid than a bottle of Coke, Red Bull's powerful punch of caffeine proved far more efficient. The results were astounding, with over 5 million cans sold in California in the first year alone. The company deployed bold tactics like strapping huge Red Bull cans to Volkswagen Beetles, they hit up beaches, colleges, gyms, office buildings and construction sites, delivering free samples to those needing a boost. The friendly Red Bull salespeople, dubbed Musketeers, even offered free coolers to bars, where they quickly learned that this new drink was a cash cow. Mixed with vodka or Jaeger, Red Bull became the hottest drink in town, with bars in LA charging $10, New York charging $12, and Miami charging a whopping $16. Soon enough, Red Bull was flowing through the nation, with their marketing buzz catching the attention of the press. Red Bull's slogan directed journalists to print quotes from consumers like, you can get drunk and stay wide awake, or it's the poor man's cocaine. One rumor even declared that the drink contained bull testicles. 
they knew they had to align themselves with the interests of their prime demographic, appealing to those seeking an edge to keep up with their fast-paced lifestyle. That's why the brand has skillfully tapped into the worlds of traditional sports and emerging esports teams to drive its global influence to new heights. Formula One is a highly popular and globally watched sport, reaching millions of viewers worldwide. Having its own team allows Red Bull to prominently showcase its brand logo on the team's cars, uniforms and other promotional materials, ensuring widespread visibility and recognition. The team's involvement in the sport allows them to create captivating content and storytelling around their racing endeavours, which can be used in various marketing campaigns across different media channels. The same goes for the rapidly growing world of esports. Red Bull is no stranger to sponsoring entire events. Teams and individual players are getting their logo in front of the most popular titles in gaming. Red Bull has worked hard to build their associations with extreme sports and adrenaline junkies, producing viral and highly shareable events to keep the brand's identity clear and consistent. Take their Red Bull Stratos mission for example. Remember Felix Baumgartner, the famous skydiver? In 2012, he was thrust to the edge of space to prepare for a jump from a height of 38,600 kilometers. Millions of people watched the event live on YouTube, which was incredible. Felix jumped and broke three official world records. He proved that a human in freefall could beat the speed of sound. How cool is that? But the best part? The project required advanced tech equipment, contributing to future aerospace program innovations. It cost a whopping $30 million, but it was worth it. Red Bull made over $500 million in product sales thanks to this incredible achievement. Not only this, but Red Bull hosts worldwide soapbox races where you don't need to be a world-class racing driver to enter a fast-paced, ridiculously fun event. Amateurs can pilot their creative, wacky, handmade soapbox cars and race them downhill competing in both speed and aesthetics. The company even spun a lawsuit into a genius marketing strategy. In 2014, their famous slogan, Red Bull Gives You Wings, cost them a whopping $13 million to settle damages over false advertising. I know, I was just as devastated as you to find out that the beverage doesn't actually give you wings. In order to keep the slogan that had become synonymous with the brand, they changed wings to have three eyes. It is awe-inspiring how Red Bull has become such an omnipresent brand, making its way onto store shelves, bars and sporting events worldwide. As Red Bull continues to evolve and push the beverage industry's boundaries, it inspires entrepreneurs and marketers alike. Their journey from humble beginnings in Austria to global dominance is a testament to the power of innovation, strategic branding and the ability to tap into the aspirations of a dynamic and energy-driven world. Make sure to let us know your thoughts down below and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.